What's going on everyone? As always, thank you for tuning in. Today I want to talk to you about what sells. And I really want you to ask yourself this question. What is it that sells? What is the main thing that sells your product or your service? And I'll tell you what most people think it is. Most people think it's features. The features of your product, the features of your service, all the cool gadgets, all the pluses, all the upsells that come with it, all the different aspects of your product or your service. And I'll give you a hint right now. That's not it. Stay tuned. I'm going to get right into it. But as always, make sure to smash that like button. Comment your thoughts below. If you have any questions or thoughts, I would like to engage with you in the comment section below. And on that note, let's get right into it. So like I said earlier, every single time you're in front of a sales professional, or you're talking to an entrepreneur about their product or their service, they think it's the features that sell. So they're telling you, oh, our product has this and that. Our service gives you this and that, that our competitor doesn't. And here's where the mistake is. It's not the features that sell. It's the benefits and also the hidden benefits that are selling your prospects on your product, on your service. So just for clarity, let me give you an example. If you're selling cars, if you're in the auto business, you might tell your clients, oh, our car has the sunroof or the moonroof, it has the leather seats, it has the this and that. Those are the features, right? And you're thinking as the car salesperson that it's these features that are selling your prospects or your potential buyers. The reality is they're looking for the benefits. Okay, great, the leather seats, what are the benefits for me? How's that going to benefit me? Oh, well, you know, it's easier to clean, for example. Let's say that's a benefit of that feature. Now, what are the hidden benefits? Oh, the hidden benefits would be maybe my friends or my family or my spouse would think this is a more modern and nicer car, a more luxurious car because it has the leather seats. So that's a hidden benefit. The fact that it gives me more confidence because my spouse or my partner or my friends or family might think this car is more luxurious due to the leather seats, then for that reason, that's the hidden benefit. The benefit is the fact that I can clean it or that I like sitting in it or that it's easier to cool or heat up because it's leather. And the feature itself is the fact that it's a leather seat vehicle. So where most salespeople and entrepreneurs go wrong is thinking the feature is it. When in reality, the feature is nice, but it's the benefits and then the hidden benefits on top of that that is really the reason your buyers here those are the reasons your buyers are looking for a product or service anyways those are the reasons your buyer is shopping anyways and if you can solve those problems for your buyer they will buy your product or service you will close the deal it's as simple as that now notice i said simple not easy it's not easy, but it is simple. So this is what I want you to do. Every single time you're talking to your buyer or potential buyer, I want you to mention your features of your product and your service, and at the same time, tie that in with the benefits and the hidden benefits that they're going to get from having, from owning your product or your service. And I can tell you right now from personal experience, if you can make this a habit that every time you mention the features of your product or service, you tie it in with how they would benefit from it, what problems it would solve for them. And also if you can be at a higher level and think of and speak on the hidden benefits for them as well, that would just be incredible. You would close a lot more deals. You would be more relatable with your buyers and they would understand that you understand exactly what they're looking for. So to reiterate here, it's not the features that sell, it's the benefits, and on top of that, the hidden benefits that actually sell your product and your service. And one thing that I want you to do is what I call the features and benefits loop. And every single time you bring up the features of your product, of your service, you tie that in with the benefits and the hidden benefits of what that product or service is going to do for your prospect and at the same time make it very clear how your product or service or how that specific feature is actually going to solve their problem so there you go that right there should help you close a lot more deals should help you actually connect with your buyers a lot more and you know just make the whole process more seamless for you so i hope you enjoyed that i hope you got value from that and i hope you start closing way more deals using the features and benefits loop and on top of that of course the hidden benefits as well so if you enjoyed this content make sure to smash that like button as always tune in mondays wednesdays and fridays for more content and of course share this with more people that are in sales that are in business who you think would also get value from it and on that note i'll see you on the next video